Hi everyone, Chris here with Blind Appeal. Hope you're all having a great day. If you have no idea what type of window treatments you want in your home, this video gives a good overview of the available products out there. If you do have an idea of what products you already want, I have the links in the description below so you can skip forward to those specific products. So stay tuned. <music> So we're gonna go through the products from the least expensive to the most expensive. First product we're gonna talk about are your traditional blinds. Blinds come in either faux wood or hardwood blinds. Uh, faux wood blinds specifically are the least expensive window treatments. Some are more expensive than others. Hardwood blinds are definitely more, but they are lighter in weight. They usually come with the options of two or two and a half inch slats. Blinds can come with a cord or cordless. Some manufacturers don't even offer cords anymore actually because of child safety. You can also motorize these, however, the motorization only applies to the tilt system, not the pole system. Next up are honeycomb shades. Uh, honeycomb shades are one of the best for energy efficiency. Uh, they are designed to plot heat inside the cells, which makes it more difficult for energy to pass through them. Made of mostly polyester, these shades come in sheer, light filter, or room darkening. You can also get them in half inch double cells, three quarter inch, inch and a quarter, and some manufacturers will design them up to two inch cells. When it comes to room darkening, honeycomb shades are one of the best. There is always going to be a light gap for room darkening in any product out there, but honeycomb shades tend to limit that light gap better than most other products. These shades also come with top down, bottom up, giving you flexibility with maintaining privacy and lighting at the same time. They come cordless, corded, continuous cord loop, and motorization as well. Next product are roller shades. So there are many varieties of roller shades, uh, which I'll briefly go over here. But overall, a roller shade is anything that rolls up and out of the way in a cassette that sits at about three and a half inches to four inches wide at the top. They are the most minimalistic of window treatments and are commonly used for large windows and rooms where lighting and views are most essential. Traditional roller shades are what most people think of when it comes to roller shades. They come in light filter and room darkening and are designed with one large fabric that rolls up and down. To operate, they come in either continuous cord loop, cordless, or motorization. Transitional roller shades are one of the most modern styles. They have light blocking fabric with a translucent fabric in between. Why they are called transitional shades? Easy, they, can, they transition from full privacy to partial privacy like fabric blinds and can roll up full view. They can be operated with a continuous cord loop or motorization. Silhouettes are another form of roller shades, uh, which are somewhat similar to transitional shades. Instead of being back to back, they tilt instead. So also operate between continuous core loop and motorization. They have that translucent fabric in between and you can see right through them when they're all the way down. Next product, Roman shades. Roman shades come in a variety of designs and usually bring warmth to the home. Uh, these shades also can come in top down, bottom up and you can add light filter or room darkening liners on the back of the fabric. There are primarily two types of Roman shades. One is fabric, often linen, cotton or polyester and the second is natural woven shades, which brings a lot of character to the home. Roman shades can be operated as cordless, corded, continuous cord loop, and motorization. And of course, you can't forget about plantation shutters. Plantation shutters are one of the few products that look as though they were designed and built in with the home itself. They really can be used for any style home, but are most known for farmhouse styles. Homeowners often add shutters to the front of their home also for curb appeal. Shutters come in either composite or hardwood, Although hardwood is a little more expensive, the benefits of hardwood are that they are much lighter than composite and can be painted to match your window trim. Shutters come in mostly two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half inch louvers. The larger the louver, the better the natural light. They also come in a split tilt, which give the flexibility of privacy and lighting similar to top down bottom up feature for other window treatments. And you have the option of a hidden tilt rod or traditional tilt. The hidden tilt rod is a little more of a modern look for plantation shutters in comparison to the til uh, traditional tilt because it's more minimalistic, less objects in the way. That should give you a good overview of the products available for window treatments. Again, there are many designs, options uh, available within these products and many more out there actually that you can even uh, discuss with, uh, with a rep. Uh, if you have any questions at all with like a consultation on any of our products, uh, you can either give us a call at the number to the side right here or look us up at www.blindappeal.com and we'll get you taken care of. 
I'm Chris of Blind Appeal. Have a great day.